Number 52, calculate the number of moles and the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C out of the bunch. So in this case, they told us that we have 0 0.250 liters of a 0 0.1135 molarity of K2CRO4 and potassium chromate, K2CRO4, is an analytical reagent used in iron assays. Wow. Or, as someone famous says, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Who is that, guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay. Anyway, they gave us a molarity. I know that this is a molarity because it's capital M, right? And they gave us a volume. Liter is a volume. Now, there's a formula between a molarity and a volume, and we want to find out the moles. But I'm going to show you an easy triangle trick that you guys can memorize to help you formulate your different formulas with molarities. And that's this triangle right here. Well, it looks so pretty. Now, if you want to write yours down uh, on a piece of paper, it doesn't have to be as colorful as mine. The whole idea is that you need a triangle, right? You need this T in the middle. And then you separate out your three units. Molarity has to be on the bottom left. Moles have to be on the top. And liters has to be on the uh, right-hand side. This cannot be milliliters, okay? Because the, the, the units between molarity is moles divided by liters, okay? So now I just go back and I see, well, what did they give me? Well, they gave me a liter, so I have this value. They gave me a molarity, so I have this value. So I have two out of the three. I can automatically solve for the one that I don't have, right? So now how do I construct a formula out of this little diagram? Well, write the one that you're looking for, right? We're looking for moles. And of this case, the solute is K2CRO4, right? So the unit that you want to solve for if you're writing it on paper, hover over it with your thumb or one of your fingers, right? Or I guess, you know, what, whatever body part you want to use, but <laughs> anyway. So hover over it with your thumb. And so when you do that, you won't see this unit anymore, right? You're basically just focusing on this. Now, since these are on the same tier, right? They're on the bottom tier and they're, they're reacting with each other by this divider right here. This stands for multiplication. But if it was on the top or the bottom, right? Let's just say that you wanted to solve for, I don't know, liters. You hover over liter and you see how now it's top and bottom. They're reacting with this. That's division, okay? But like we said before, we are, whoop, hold on, what happened here? We're hovering over moles. This is the divider, multiplication. So moles equals molarity times liters. And now let's just plug the numbers in. The moles of K2CRO4 equals the molarity, 0 0.1135. You can keep the units in there if you want. I'm just going to you know, make it simple and cleaner, but I know what unit I'm gonna come out with, right? Moles. So the moles of K2CRO4 is, let's see, 0.1135 times 0.25. We have a, a, the least number of four sig figs for both of them, so four sig figs should be in the answer. 0 0.028, uh, we'll say 38. And this is moles. Okay, so one part done. We found out the amount of moles. 0 0.02838 moles. Okay, now all we gotta do is just go from a moles to a gram. And oopsie, I said gram, but my brain knows every time that I see a mass, it's in grams, okay? So once you start seeing mass, mass, mass over and over again, it's a gram value. So we're looking for a G. Well, how do we go from a mole to a gram? Well, dimensional analysis, but here's a little trick over here, right? We're starting off with moles right, of any substance, so I just labeled it as X. If we wanna go from a mole to a gram value, AKA a mass of the same compound or substance, right, 
I go this way, I'm going this way, I'm going this way. So all I have to do is just take the mole and times it by my molecular weight or the molar mass, it's the same exact thing. Where is this value? Well, it's on the periodic table. They didn't tell me that. That's what we have to find out. So quick sidestep, we have to find the molecular weight of K2CRO4. Now, we've done tons of problems just finding out molecular weights. That's on the periodic table. The hardest part is just, you know, taking into account that you have two potassiums, four oxygens, and one chromium, okay? So I'm going to do mine quickly. You do yours. Get your periodic table out and get calci out, and let's see if we come to the same number. Okay, so I have two potassiums. I'm going to get the exact, but if you round, that's, that's fine with me. Our answer should be very, very roughly the same. I have one chromium, that's 52, and I have a, a four oxygens, each is 16. So I get 194.2, and that's grams per mole. I'm going to use this and this number, right? I'm going to multiply them together. So I'm going to take 0 0.02838 and times by this value. So that's 194.2. And I'll get grams out of it. Now, if we did keep the units in the mix, right, this was moles. This was gram per mole. I'm multiplying them by each other. Look what happens to the moles. One's on top, the other one's on the bottom. They cancel, and that's why you just have the unit of grams. So it's like a quick trick. So I'm just going to multiply these. Uh, 0 0.02838 times by the molar weight. I need four sig figs, so 5.511, uh, and that's grams of the potassium chromate, C2, uh, K2CRO4, and that's your second answer. So there are my two answers, guys, the moles and the mass. Okay, that's it. Guys, what did you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, give this video a like. Uh, if it helped you out, just lets us know that we're doing our job right here. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that's awesome too. And that would help us out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At the moment, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which I mean, it's, it's crazy. We're just like a small education channel. So I, I thank all you guys for helping us out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. Chem is fun. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.